Hey there, Corporate Misfits, and welcome to the series Mastering Kajabi in 21 Days. I'm so excited to share with you about how you can use Kajabi in your online coaching, your course creation, or membership business so that you can build a life of freedom and stop trading time for money. So if you are new around here, my name is Brittany Darrington and I'm the founder of the Corporate Misfit Community and I help women to build their online business using platforms like Kajabi so that they can automate, create sales with ease and ultimately build their courses and coaching business and sharing their expertise with their tribe. So in this series, we're going to talk all about how to use Kajabi inside and out, the perks of using Kajabi and how it can really change your life. So if you have not tried out Kajabi yet, I do have a trial which supports this channel. And also you can get some amazing resources such as landing pages that we have designed for you, such as sales pages, thank you pages, opt-in, and also some registration and tripwire pages. In addition to that, you can get access to our mini training, which is our beta launch club, which allows you to learn how to launch a online course or a coaching business in just 30 days. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into what we're gonna talk about in today's lesson. Okay, so let's get your email set up in no time so that you can start sending email automations out, whether it's through your funnels and pipelines, or you can start sending out newsletters to your audience so that you can connect. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do, if you are new to Kajabi, you don't necessarily have it already set up, you wanna make your way to the marketing setting. This will allow you to plug in your information, all of your details. It can also allow you to add in your company logo and then just who your email is going to be coming from. So you'll want to get this properly set up. So then when you send emails out, it comes from the right domain. It has the right reply to. And if you have a specific customized domain, you can even set that up so that your domain does not have a from Kajabi behind it. And so just in case you're not familiar, what would happen is if you don't have your custom domain properly set up, it will say something more along the lines of this. So Brittany Darrington, so info at BrittanyDarrington.com. And then what happens is it says via c.kajabimail.net. If you don't want that to be there behind that, then you will want to add your custom email domain and it will no longer have that. And it will just be from info at Brittany Darrington. Now, the really great part about Kajabi and being able to have your emails is that everything's in one place. You don't have to second guess where everything is coming from. So it's all in one place. It makes it easy for you to see who opened, who didn't open it. Uh, and you can also connect your products and you can connect URLs and, and things along those lines really easily to these particular emails. Okay, so let's just hop right over to the marketing section. Now that you have all of your marketing information set up, you're gonna go to marketing and we're gonna create our first campaign. So there's two things that you can do here. You can either one, create an email broadcast. So let's say you're looking to send out a newsletter or you're looking to send out a single email that's promoting a product or you're looking to just stay connected with someone. This is going to be an email broadcast. If it needs to go out on a specific day at a specific time, it's most likely going to be an email broadcast. If you want something that's on automation, where it automatically triggers once someone takes action with something, whether it's a lead magnet or they join a program, or if they are um, basically registering for an event, you want a automation email sequence to trigger without you having to touch it, then you will go with this email sequence. So let's start with broadcast first, because I wanna show you the cool things that you can do with this. So if you have ConvertKit, MailChimp, or some of the other platforms that exist, even Flowdesk, the new one, um, you might be wanting to like decorate your, your emails and have them look a certain way. Maybe you saw something on one of the other platforms you might've been using. You're like, I want to keep that look. Well, the great thing is Kajabi allows you to customize it so you can have a similar feel and keep that consistency within your brand. So I like to keep things usually simple for me, uh, but if you want to jump in and utilize some of the different layouts that Kajabi has, such as the showcase a product or an announce it an event, 
the newsletter style, the blog style. There's so many different styles that you can choose from and they're absolutely gorgeous because Kajabi has really upped their game with their email. So you, as you can see here, there is a ton of just different templates you can choose from and ultimately you can just start creating and writing your email in no time. So I'm just gonna pick a template for right now just to show you what that would look like if you were to move forward with one of these templates. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with this because it's bright and full of energy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit get started and I'm going to plug in the title for this email. If you don't have it already, just put in something for right now so you can move forward. Now from here, you are going to be able to identify who this email is gonna to go to. So it could be going to members. You could have a custom segment that's already in place. And you can also have it go to everyone on your email list. So if you don't have segments, it's going to everyone perfectly fine. But if you do have segments, you're going to go to custom segment and you're going to select the filter. Maybe they have a specific product. Maybe they have specific tags. Maybe they registered for an event. You want to filter that out. So not everyone gets that email. You can customize who's going to receive it and who's not. So once you have that, it's going to allow you to preview your um, people who are going to be on this email list. And if you find that it's not the right list, just keep working at it until you get it right with your filters. Now from here, we're going to hit save and continue. And we're now going to make our way to the step two, where we're going to go ahead and update our internal title. We're going to plug in our proper subject line. And here's the great thing. As you type things out, Kajabi will suggest if this title is going to do well or not. So we're just going to plug in a particular test title for right now. Same thing with your menu. Kajabi will start to suggest some things like, hey, here's some best practices, or this has too many characters in it, or it's probably not going to perform well with you having the word free in there. It might go to spam, things along those lines to help you to get the best results for your email. Okay. So now that we have that part taken care of, we want to start editing this thing. We want to start getting it to a place to where it's customized to our brand. So we're going to go to launch email editor. And when you go to launch email editor, now you can start changing this up. So you might want to remove this view in browser. Some people like to keep it. I usually like to take it off. And if that is the case, you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to view in browser link. So you can hit hide this section on the desktop. So let's hit save. And now it no longer shows view in desktop. So now that's eliminated. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Also, if you need to change the typography or the color scheme, things like that ahead of time, go ahead and do so, so that when you're editing, it's not so time consuming. All right, let's say you want to get rid of this background. You're going to basically just kind of hover over this section. So we're going to start off with the settings. We're going to go to color scheme. Currently right now, this page background is this yellow, but let's say we just want to make it white. We want it to be more clean. So we are going to select white instead. And there we go. Now it just has kind of this as the background. All right, let's say we want to change this photo and instead upload our own photo. So we can go to upload a new file. We can select our photo of choice. And then once we have that, we'll hit select and you will see that new photo appear. Now to edit the text, we can change that as well by just selecting the areas of where we want to make changes. You can kind of just hover over it and it will appear on your left hand side. Now let's say you don't want some of these sections. So let's go to your overall sections and identify what you have here, right? We have the image, which is at the top. We have the text here. We have the text here. We have a button. We have a divider, which is what you're seeing here. We also have more text, social media icons, and we have another image. Let's say we want to get rid of some of this stuff. And maybe we even want to add some things. So let's say we want to get rid of the divider. We don't want it to be broken up. What we could do is either hide it by clicking those three buttons, or we can even delete it. If we delete it, it's permanently gone. We don't have to worry about it anymore. So once we hit save, it will no longer appear. If we don't want this extra picture here, let's say that's just kind of in our way too. We're going to just go to those three dots. We can either delete it or hide it. However, you'd like to go about that. Now let's say that there's a section that you don't have there and you want to add in more text. There's not enough text for you. You can go to add text. You can add an image. You can add a logo, a button, a video, a countdown timer, more social media icons, a divider, an announcement, um, text and text, 
image and image and image and text. So you can play around with these different elements like you would in the Kajabi pages. And ultimately it will allow you to customize this email to your liking. So come and play with this, edit it to your liking, get it all updated. And once you are in a place and you're like, this is looking good, this is what I want, you can preview it here. You can also do what I like to do. I like to send a test just to ensure that this email is to my liking and we have no issues. So how you go about that is you can go to email launch editor and you can go to this preview button first at the very top where you can at least see what this is going to look like. It, so this is what it will look like when someone receives it. So you can play around, make sure your links work, make sure they go to the proper pages and things along those lines. So say if you had a button or something, you want to make sure that the link is going to the proper URL, um, change that because sometimes Kajabi just puts their own URL as a default. So you want to update that accordingly. And then another thing you could do is you can send a test email, which you'll find right here. You can send test email and it will go to that email that you would prefer it go to. So you can test it out and make sure it works. Okay, so once you feel confident and comfortable with that, you can also add some automations. So if you wanted to, let's say someone clicked on a button, a call to action button, and you want to put a tag by them that they read this email or they took action or something along those lines, you can go to add automation and whatever you decide is best. So email broadcast is opened or link in the email broadcast is clicked. Then let's say maybe you wanna add a tag that they took action or something like that. And so you can select a tag if you have any, or if someone just opens the email, you can add a tag saying like they are, are engaged or, or things like that. So that ultimately you will be able to really customize your client profile and be able to learn more about who is on your email list and whatnot. So once you have that done, you're going to hit save. You're now going to make your way to the sending area. So it's going to allow you to either one send immediately. You can send right now, or you can schedule for later. If you don't want to do either, you can keep as a draft. And then once you're done, you can hit confirm and it will appear in your email broadcast area. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit no. We're going to keep this as a draft right now. And as you can see, here is my test email that I've been using. And ultimately, I don't have to worry about sending it at this point. Okay, so now let's look at creating a new campaign because I wanna show you the automation side of things. So we already did the email broadcast. Now let's hop into email sequence. So we're gonna go ahead and make a test sequence. And this email sequence is basically going to trigger whenever someone purchases or if we tag someone or if they download something, this is an ongoing sequence. So I wanna keep this pretty simple versus having it to be too, uh, uh, you know, just too much going on because I'm delivering a product. So the first email might include, let's see, we want one that's going to provide our freebie. So we'll just use this for right now. Testing. And this is going to, let's say we're just having a lead magnet. This is going to help us deliver our product and ultimately deliver that lead magnet we promised. So let's say someone wants to, we want someone to receive this email immediately once they get into this particular automation. We're gonna go ahead and hit zero. This will make it to immediately go out or you can have it go out on a specific day if you don't want it to go out immediately. You'll change the subject line. You'll also update the preview text. And just like you would in the um, actual newsletter and broadcast email, you're gonna go to launch email editor and then you'll begin editing this email accordingly. Now, if you are going to deliver some sort of free lead magnet of some sort, what you're going to do is you can add a call to action button or utilize the button that's already in existence. And where it says link action, you can go to download a file. When you go to download a file, it will allow you to pick the file of what they're going to receive. If for any reason they're not receiving a file, maybe they're receiving a video or things like that, you can have it go to either a landing page or a URL, or you can add the video preview in this actual email and have it linked to a YouTube channel or a Vimeo or wherever it is, or to a Kajabi actual landing page.
So once you're done, you're gonna hit save and then you are good to go to where now you can get to a place to where you check it out, make sure it's good. And if everything's to your liking, you're going to go ahead and hit save. And now this email is going to trigger immediately. You can even send yourself a test. So now this email is going to trigger immediately and it allows you to be able to get people to it if they sign up for a form or anything like that. So right now we're seeing that there's no triggers being associated with this. So in order for us to add a trigger, if we don't already have one in place, we're going to go to add trigger and that add trigger might be whenever someone is tagged, whenever someone receives a tag or whenever someone opts into a form or if someone registers for an event or if someone purchases an offer, they're then going to start receiving these types of emails. And then also we need to have some unsubscribe triggers. So if for any reason, maybe they, you know, don't stay in the course, they quit or something like that, maybe a membership, then we want to add that in so that they get out of the sequence. Maybe they purchase a product. So now we don't long, no longer want them to go through our, our free sequence because we are going to be sending them other sequences, things along those lines. We'll want to just go in and edit that accordingly. Now, another thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to make your way to the settings area, and this will allow you to really customize this even more. So you want to look at your email sequence to see what you need to exclude or include. So if you don't want people who have purchased a certain item to go through this email sequence, then you can make sure that you include that product that you don't want them to go through so that if they were to buy that product or if they were to opt into that email list, they're not getting these emails. Um, you can also make sure email su subscribers who have submitted a specific form don't come to this particular um, sequence. Maybe it's going to conflict of what you're talking about. And so you want them to focus on what you're sharing there versus having them actually come into this as well. So you can sit here and exclude the things that don't need to be here. Sending times. If you find that you want to send at a specific time, so maybe you want these to really go out around that 7 a.m. or a 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. or something like that, you can update that and you can also update this to go out in your time zone. And you can also create some automation. So maybe after someone finishes the overall sequence, they receive a tag that the workflow is completed and things along those lines to help you to know more about your actual members that are coming through your coaching programs or your courses. Okay. So there you have it. You can now get set up with your email sequences, your broadcast, your newsletters, and all of that. And just know that your email campaign area is where all of your email sequences and your actual, um, just your broadcast, everything is all going to be here. You'll notice that when it is a sequence, it will have a little circle associated with it, kind of like that half circle. And when it is a broadcast, it will have more of an envelope. So this will help you to know the difference between the two. And also instead of just looking at all, if you're not sure which one's which, because I named mine both tests, um, you can make your way to sequence and it will show you which one is a specific sequence. You can also pay attention to the sends, the opens, the clicks and the unsubscribes. So you can truly understand what your customers are doing and being able to adjust and pivot if need be with some of your copy or, or things along those lines. Thanks so much for watching this video and make sure you access your trial to Kajabi and those free amazing resources that we have for you, such as the pre-designed landing pages and the mini course on how to launch your first course in just 30 days. Okay, I'll see you in some of the upcoming videos.